Hello everyone, Salamat semua, namanya saya Jason Sodikin. Hello Oish, ich heiße Jason Sodikin. Hey everyone, my name is Jason Sodikin. I'm a first year math major here at the Georgia Institute of Technology. Go Jackets, and I'm here today to talk about how Georgia is globally connected and why students should be more globally minded. Well, let's start with how Georgia is globally connected. In Georgia, we are the host to numerous companies like Coca-Cola, Delta, and Bank of America, just to name a few. And these companies are all staffed by amazing people who foster a unique company culture. On top of that, each of those people have their own distinct cultural background. Now, how does this relate to students being globally minded? Well, students, a lot of them coming out of college, would love to work for these giant companies. And these companies are looking for good communicators. Now, how are you going to be a good communicator if you don't understand the background, the cultural background of the person you're talking to, or at least understand the differences between you two? Well, in short, to be successful as a student in the job market, it's three things. It's the company, the people, and the place. Let's talk a little bit more about that. Talking about communication, let's look at some examples of miscommunication and see what went wrong. Business Insider reports that companies like Amazon and Walmart both met opposition in Germany when they're trying to enter the market and in such had to pull back their operations or completely leave the market like Walmart did. Now Walmart's problems stem not only just from their miscommunication between um, English and German, but through their cultural understandings as they try to get people to work on Sundays and that is something that is completely just no go in Germany as they value a balance between work and relaxation. And for another specific example, a German boss for a Walmart branch in Brandenburg had an issue where the American counterparts didn't realize why that boss gave his workers the day off after having worked 10 hours. That was standard practice in Germany, again, because they value that balance between work and relaxation. Now we've talked about how company policies and the cultural around a place interact, but let's focus on the people that work there and how students might become those workers and how they can avoid that miscommunication. So why should students be more globally minded? Well, at the end of the day, students are gonna be the ones who work for these companies and companies want them to be good communicators. And in being a good communicator, you have to at least acknowledge the differences between you and the other person. And in doing so, you remove that hostility and knee-jerk reaction of, whoa, that's different, that's foreign, and replace it with curiosity and open-mindedness. That is an invaluable skill, not only to you as a worker for the company, but for you as a human being to acknowledge and see the differences between you and another human. And that might help you when you work for that company because whether you're here in Atlanta, down in Macon, or up in Gainesville, those companies are staffed by diverse people who extend not only their culture, the company's culture, but also the culture of the people they, they work for and serve. With those three things in mind, any student can dominate the global market. Thank you.